All right, so this is my beginner's guide to Mighty Omega. I know this game may seem confusing when you start off, but once you actually get on track, things should be easier. All right, so when you first join the game, you are gonna get 5,000 free cash if you actually bought it in paid access. If you're watching this video while the game is free right now, then you're gonna have to actually make some money and I will go over how to make money later in the video. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and start at the clothing shop. Now, if you don't know how to get here and you actually spawn on the other side of the town where it looks like the suburbs, like there's houses and everything, like you can see right there in the distance, there's houses and stuff. If you spawn on that side of the town, cross over this bridge here and come over to the clothing shop, okay? So, yeah, once we're at the clothing shop, the first thing that you want to do is go over here, okay? Go inside this bank and you need a bank account. Bank accounts are going to be super useful because people can rob your money in this game if they knock you. Once your new protection is over, it's on site, bro. Okay, I don't have new protection anymore, but when you first play the game and you have new protection, people can't rob you. But once it's over, people can rob you. So that's when you need to actually start putting money into your bank account. So the risk of you getting robbed isn't there. And then Express Card, you don't really have to buy it. Express Cards are just used to uh, transfer money out of ATM. So like here's an ATM right here. You can type in the number and withdraw. Now, if you're lazy, there's ATMs around the map and you can just withdraw money that way. But I mean, any single time I need money from my bank, I literally just go to the actual bank and I pretty much just withdraw money. So watch $100 withdraw, something like that. Afterwards, you're going to want to follow me here. Go outside of the bank and then you want to make a right after this street. And I actually forgot to tell you, you want to be jogging at all times. So you see right here, I'm in the running animation. If I press R, I start jogging. What jogging will do is increase your stamina. Running only increases your running speed. And earlier on, you definitely want to increase your stamina. Anyways, when you're in this building, buy a breathing mask, okay? This is very important. A breathing mask will make sure that you train your stamina at all times. When you're sweating and regenerating your stamina right here, that means you're training your stamina. It's only for a bit, but it adds up over time. So you definitely want to have a breathing mask with anything you do in this game. All right, now you want to follow me and we're going to go straight into Roadworks. I lied. You want to actually go into this gym right here and you want to buy a light vest. So we're going to go over here and buy a light vest real quick. We might as well just buy everything. So you want to buy a light vest right here. Okay. And don't worry about limb weights for now. Limb weights, I'll explain later, but light vest and then you want to buy push ups and squats. All right, so we're making our way over to the roadworks. Now in this game earlier on, you want to train your stamina first, okay? We don't go straight into the push-ups or squats right away. That is a mistake that I made. You want to train your stamina to at least 50 stamina first before you do anything. Because the more stamina that you have in this game, the more push-ups you're able to do or squats that you're able to do. And in turn, that means you're able to actually get muscle faster. All right, so remember this place, okay? You want to go ahead and buy roadworks from here. There are roadworks scattered across the map, but I feel like this is the best one because I'll show you later on how to actually make money. And I actually already have a roadwork. It looks like, yeah, I do. So you buy a roadwork, okay? You go outside this gym right here and you want to start it. But before you start, make sure you actually equip your light vest and breathing mask on, okay? Equipping the light vest and breathing mask while you're doing these roadworks will actually increase um, your gain from stamina and speed. And you'll be able to see it afterwards when you press f9 so let's go ahead and do this road work real quick okay make sure you're jogging too while you're doing this and like i said again you want to keep doing this until you actually reach 50 stamina and i'll show you how to check stats later on all right so once you're actually done with the road work you are going to be set back to right here so you pretty much just go into the gym again and get another road work so you keep doing that until you run out of money and once you actually do run out of money um, you want to go ahead and take my path here. The reason why I said you want to do the roadworks here is because literally the money making method is the same path essentially as the road working method. So you want to go into the straight line and keep following me and you're going to actually turn right um, in the next two streets. So this street right here, you don't want to turn right in. You want to turn right into the next street. all right so there is a job board right here outside of this sushi restaurant 
you pretty much want to actually cycle through the jobs until you get the 300 reward one the 300 reward one is so much better than the 400 one because it's quick and easy compared to the 400 one like by the time you make a thousand two hundred dollars with the 400 one you could easily make like a good two thousand dollars with the 300 one so you can see right here all you have to do is grab the supply and bring it back to the sushi restaurant as you can see all you have to do is run over here to literally the same spot where you get the road works at and you pick up the crate and you return it back to the sushi restaurant and you get the money you see how this you know goes hand to hand with this specific road work in here that's why i'm telling you guys to just do the road work at the wrestling gym because it's so much more worth it than doing road works from anywhere else since you literally can start making money the moment you run out of money after doing a lot of road works all right let's pick up this bad boy here and you pretty much just return it to the restaurant and keep doing this until you're satisfied with the money that you have all right so we're just about to approach this place so you just jump over here and yeah you turn in the crate now turn in the crate that's an easy 300 and you keep repeating that until you have the amount of money that you desire like i said again and from here the hospital is actually right next to this place okay so when you go to the hospital this is where you want to go to actually check your stats all right so we're just approaching the hospital now and if you buy the injury result okay you can see right here it will show your stats and you want to keep doing those road works until you get 50 stamina as you can see guys i am a victim of not grinding stamina earlier on and now i'm suffering from it so now i gotta grind it and it's so much harder for me because i actually packed on muscle and packing on muscle actually makes stamina training harder that's why i'm saying training stamina early is good for you while you have zero muscle because it's going to be easier that way we might as well actually go over the stats while i'm at it okay your durability is how much health you can have your upper body muscle will scale off of your overall damage depending on your style too your upper body muscle can actually scale harder like advanced brawl will scale off upper body muscle more than karate i'll go ahead and link the discord down below and if you go to the info tab they'll show you what each style is actually good at your lower body muscle will scale off of your you know leg damage so i have a move called high kick and pretty much it's a high kick obviously and that damage actually scales off of my lower body muscle running speed should be um self-explanatory your fat pretty much if you have more fat then you're able to have more no stun so you're less likely to get stunned whenever somebody hits you with the stunning move you are slower in return though so be careful about that also fat is really good for wrestlers too because your wrestling damage scales off of fat striking power should be self-explanatory that's just your overall you know m1 damage and striking power could also scale hard in certain styles more than others uh striking speed should be self-explanatory your stamina should be self-explanatory and bone condition is literally not in the game right now so don't worry about that injuries are not in the game right now so don't worry about that now there are certain stat caps that actually prevent you from trying to train every stat to the max in this game if you try to do that you're not going to get anywhere okay so for example i want to keep my muscle around the 115 area range because if i go over 120 muscle my attacks start taking way more stamina and my striking speed is lowered okay 120 is the cap that you can get to before you start becoming slower so if you go over 120 you are going to be stronger but in return your attacks will take more stamina like i said again and your striking speed is overall reduced alongside your running speed too i believe i'll have a video down below in the description it's a more in-depth muscle guide okay he does a great job explaining how you know certain caps work and stuff like that so if you want to watch that video to learn more about the stats go ahead this is just a guide to get you started okay so now we're going into clan proficiencies now if we go into the shop here okay and you go to clan reroll you can see right here um you have a chance to roll an actual clan in this game okay so if you end up rolling a clan depending on what clan you actually get um hura yamaguchi sen yellow tall any of that okay depending on what you get they actually give you clan proficiencies my clan actually gives me um training proficiencies and four stats so when i'm doing durability training i get 10 percent more xp when i do striking speed training i get 10 percent more i get nine percent more when doing running speed training and i get eight percent more doing striking power training 
certain clans in the future too will get their own style so i am going to get my own style kyurik clan yeah that's going to get their own style soon and i think they're going to get removal mikazuchi i know is another confirmed clan that's going to get their own style too so yeah be on the lookout for that all right so once you've gotten 50 stamina you should still be at the hospital because you have to check that obviously you've gotten 50 stamina make sure to always have your breathing mask on too like i said again i just have it off so i can get to places in this video and get it out faster for y'all but once you're outside of the hospital you want to go ahead and follow me because we are going to make some muscle now now um you want to go ahead and have calories at all times when making muscle so you want to follow me here into this shop and this is pretty much the best place to buy food it's literally the best bang for your buck you're able to buy so much food for little price and you can stack up on calories this way too all right so inside this shop right here you want to stack up on hot dogs either hot dogs or tacos are there tacos here yeah either you want to stack up on hot dogs or tacos i'm not sure which one gives more calories i think tacos might i'm not too sure but you can just go ahead and stack up on all of this okay you make sure that you eat this tacos and hot dogs are just a great source of hunger and it's going to boost your calories up by a lot for how much they actually cost so go ahead and buy here and then once you actually get to a good amount of calories i might as well explain the hunger system too so the yellow bar is your hunger system the red bar are your calories if you plan on being fat in this game you want to make sure your calories are up at all times so you can gain fat over time now if you don't plan on being fat don't worry about having this red bar too high earlier on because you're gonna burn it all off doing exercises anyways all right so once you've stacked up on calories and hunger you want to actually go to your desired training style gym to actually start training in that gym for style xp now if you don't know the location of the style that you want to go yet then i will link a youtube video down in the description below where he actually does show off every single style so don't worry about that but now we're in the karate gym and we're going to get to push-ups and squats. All right, y'all. So the first thing that you actually want to do is squats. Now, the reason why I want you to do squats first is because the more upper body muscle you have, the harder it is to actually squat. So when you do squats earlier on, I want you to squat until you get 30 lower body muscle. Once you get 30 lower body muscle, we will move on to the push-up. And you want to do push-ups until you get 30 upper body muscle with the push-ups, okay? Only want to click once, by the way. Let me explain the two functions with squats and push-ups. If you do um, three clicks with the push-ups, you can see I'm doing push-ups really fast because I'm clicking multiple times. That's going to work on your striking power. You don't want that earlier on. Same with squats. If you do the fast version of the squats by clicking continuously, you're going to do a fast squat. That's going to work on your running speed, and you don't want that earlier on too. Earlier on, you want to train your lower body muscle and your upper body muscle. And remember too, pay attention to your hunger and calories bar, especially your calories bar, okay? Having high calories at all times will actually increase the amount of muscle that you get. All right, so once you get 30 and 30 in each stat, you could actually use the light vest now, okay? And the light vest is actually going to make your push-ups go crazy and your squats, okay? The XP that you get from with having the light vest on while doing push-ups and squats are so much easier. And you want to keep doing that until you get 75 in each stat. 75 upper body muscle and 75 lower body muscle. Once you do that, you can finally talk to your desired trainer, okay? And depending on what you have, he should be able to teach you the style. So you want to press, I want to learn karate. You should be able to learn karate. With karate, all I needed was 70 upper body muscle and 70 lower body muscle alongside with like 100 style XP, something like that. Not all trainers have the same requirement, but it's similar stats. So if you end up not being able to get your style at 75, 75, then go ahead and check your actual style XP. And if that's not the case at all, then go for 80 upper body and 80 lower body. I know for wrestling, it's 80 upper body, 80 lower body with some fat. And then he should be able to teach you wrestling after that. But pretty much, we want to go into here. And when you press open skills, that's where you can check your style XP. Your style XP gradually increases when you train in your certain dojo, okay? That's why I'm saying when you're training, you want to actually be training in your dojo. Because I am gradually getting style XP when I'm doing these push-ups in the karate dojo. All right, so once you actually do get your style, you could actually fight your teacher, okay? And fighting your teacher will actually give you style XP if you end up winning. Now, this is a bit hard for me, so I'm gonna go into difficulty two so I can show myself beating the teacher. All right, there we go. We finally beat him. And once you beat him, you should earn style XP from that, but you can only earn style XP from beating him in like a new session. So watch. 
I didn't get any style XP from that because I already beat that difficulty. So you're only getting style XP if you actually beat the difficulty that you're currently on. You can work on that by simply putting on the strike speed training. And this is actually good for limb weights. So when you wear limb weights, it actually increases your um, XP gain from strike speed training. So that's where the limb weights come in. And this is pretty self-explanatory. You just want to attack the thing until, you know, the whole stuff is over. That was so awkward to say, but yeah. All right, once you're done with that, the one other thing that I got to go over is durability training. The only way to get durability right now in this game, y'all, is through durability training. So when you turn this on, I'm going to actually have one of my friends here actually go ahead and hit me a few times. All right, so I have my friend here. He's going to go ahead and show off durability training for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do durability training, and he's going to hit me, okay? Now, you want to make sure that the person that hits you during durability training actually doesn't knock you because you're not going to get any durability from that. So go ahead and hit me. Keep hitting me until I say stop. As you can see right here, that's one combo, two. Just hit me twice afterwards. There we go. And then all you have to do is click off of it and you gain durability from that. All right, y'all. So let's say you want to be a beefy boy and go over the lean muscle cap because you want to start doing big boy damage. This is where the supplement place actually is important, okay? When you come over here, you want to buy your protein shakes, okay? While the protein shake is active, you get a huge increase in muscle gain, okay? Fat burners are going to help you burn fat if you end up deciding that you want to tone down a bit. BCAs will make it so that the amount of fatigue that you actually get is reduced by 30%, but you also have reduced muscle gains when you actually get the BCAA. So you only want to take this whenever you're doing high intensity stuff that takes a toll on your body fatigue, like durability training. Anyways, once you've actually bought the protein, you want to go ahead and go around this corner right here, and uh, you pretty much want to lift weights of protein. I recommend not doing push-ups or sit-ups at all with protein because you're not going to maximize your muscle growth with it, okay? Like I said, again, this is only for people who want to go over the lean muscle cap. And when you go over here, you could actually bench press or squat, and it's going to be 300 per session, as you can see. And once you keep going higher and higher, um, it'll have multiple body requirements. And the thing is simple. I don't want to do it because I don't want to gain more muscle than I have already. But pretty much you play a mini game where it's like you click the dots and you gain muscle that way. So when you pair this up with protein, you're going to gain a lot of muscle fast this way. I only recommend starting to do this though once you actually get to barbell three weight. Okay, barbell one and two are literally a joke. You actually gain so much more muscle while doing push-ups and squats with the light vest on. So it's just better if you wait until you get to barbell three weight. All right, the last thing I want to go over is actually your skills. So once you actually have enough style XP because you've been training vigorously in the gym that you want to get your skills in, you could actually go ahead and buy skills. Now, as you can see right here, I already have high kick and now I'm grinding for 330 style XP for my last move. I want the last move here. It looks pretty cool. Anyways, if we go over here and we actually press edit skill, you could actually edit your skill in this game. Now, be careful wasting your tokens, okay? You only get three free editing tokens before you actually have to buy more with Robux. As you can see, it's only 150 Robux. But, I mean, if you're not rich, then, yeah, you're going to suffer from this. So, you only get three free edit tokens. Make sure you edit properly. You can see right here, my high kick has the most range, okay? I upgraded the range on it because I'm a short dude. So, I'm going to need moves to actually have range so I can actually poke people out. Anyways, you can see right here, when I upgraded my range, it actually decreased the damage multiplier, okay? So I'm sacrificing damage for more range. Anyways, you're able to also upgrade your skills too. You get five upgrades, as you can see right here, and reaching 100 EXP in the move that you get, you'll be able to actually have the upgrade choice. I haven't actually upgraded this move yet, but you can see I currently have 14 XP in this move. When you use this move constantly over and over on people, that's how you actually get XP for the move. So I'm going to go ahead and use high kick right now, right? You can see right there, I was at 14. Now when I go ahead and do open skills, go to edit here, I'm going to be at 14.175. So I got to keep doing that over and over until I reach 100 XP into that move. And then I'll be able to finally upgrade it. And upgrading it, I don't know what it does. It probably does like increased damage or something like that. I haven't personally upgraded the move myself yet, but just keep that in mind. 
you also aren't limited to your style skills too by the way y'all okay you can actually get styles from multiple dojos you're just gonna actually have to train in there for the style exp but if you grind hard enough you're able to go a mixed martial arts build if you want be in mind though if you use moves from different dojos then those moves will actually cost more stamina than your main style all right so once you actually grind to the point where your body fatigue is around 60 you see i have 57 right now you might as well go to the hospital okay when you go to the hospital right here you can rent a bed and it will take like a good i'm not gonna lie to y'all it might take like a good 20 minutes for your body fatigue to reach all the way down to zero so don't be discouraged like in the first five minutes you don't see any progress because it starts going down after i'm not too sure honestly just know that you have to sit here for a good 20 minutes or so so yeah sleeping in bed is actually the fastest way to reduce your body fatigue another way to do it without wasting money in the hospital is uh logging off the game but logging off the game takes longer than just sleeping in bed when you log off the game i think you have to wait like a good three hours or so until your body fatigue reaches the zero if i missed anything you could probably look up a youtube video and find it out yourself this guide was just to help everybody get started okay i didn't want to go over traits or anything like that because i mean it's a beginner's guide i'm just trying to show you how to actually get started into the game and now the rest is up to you you can look up for anything else if you need help with anything else and yeah i'm out have a great day y'all